Zell Boy Army, welcome to another spicy one on the channel. We have a showdown SBC to get into. Interesting choices. And then, probably more importantly, we have football means everything. TIFO, stadium theme, home kit, away kit, and bundle. Interesting. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a separate section on the pro uh, the FIFA store from bronze, silver, gold, and promo. And then obviously FIFA points. The most important one that always gets fixed if there's an issue. I don't think I've ever seen this before, but... Like, football means everything if you spend some coins or FIFA points on it. Why don't they just give us this for free? Why are they making people pay for this? Rooted in tradition... Driven by passion and forged in rivalry. Show off what football means to you if this football means everything Tifa by handing over your coins or FIFA points. If you buy this with FIFA points, you are a mug. The full football me the full football means everything collection is available as a bundle as well. Duplicate purchases may occur. What on earth is that? Are people actually are people actually going to buy these? Honestly, I've said for a while that I would much rather EA charge for cosmetics. Like, if, if this is the... I don't know. If this is the test and EA is seeing will people buy cosmetics and long-term they remove FIFA points in terms of the gambling on packs, that would be fantastic. But I don't think they are going to. I honestly would be happy for cosmetics to be the only way you can spend money on the game. Rather than the pay to win packs to get players. Um, it's hard to ever know with this company. They don't really ever say anything. But yeah, I don't really know how these kits are going to show that you think football means everything. But there we go. Fair enough. Interesting, that one. Uh, showdown SBCs. Though. We have Real Madrid versus Chelsea. What on earth are these choices? Like you could pick anyone, anyone from Chelsea or Real Madrid, and you pick Mariano, barely gets a game for them. Mark Sonzo plays a bit, but he's not a star, I don't think, really. Like I don't get in these showdown why don't they just give some good players? Mariano, if you look at this section, brilliant card. And then you get here and he doesn't have skill moves and has a good but not great weak foot. If you had a five star weak foot. It would still be a bit of a letdown not having skills, because skills does matter this year, but I could live with it. But three-star skills and four-star weak foot's pretty bad, which during team of the season nearly writes off the card already. If he gets a plus two, if Real Madrid win, I think Chelsea are the favourites at home. If he gets a plus two to a 91, and you put an engine on him, then this card's sick. Really, really good card in terms of the stats. But the weak foot and skill moves are just always going to hinder this card back. Like his pace, shooting, dribbling, physical. They're all insane. One of the best. How many other strikes in the game have physicals as good as this guy? It's pretty insane. He looks okay on the ball. To be fair as well, the 80 composure is a bit of a letdown. Um, I don't know. I, I just don't really get the choices. Unless you have a Real Madrid player as well, it's very hard to link him in. Obviously, Madrid do have plenty of good choices. But linking him in is not going to be that easy um, unless you do that. How much is he coming in at? What, 200, 250k? Maybe? I don't know. Not that cheap either for a card that doesn't have um, skill moves. And then Alonso. Three star, three star. 83 agility, six foot two. I mean, at centre back, cracking card. You stick an anchor on him. I mean, you probably need a shadow, though, to get the sprint speed. If it was 90 XL, 90 sprint, you could put an anchor on it. It's a pretty good setup. I don't really see a position where you play this card. He can't play in a good attacking role with three star, three star. I don't... What are these choices from here? I, I just don't really get it. I can't compare Alon's... I can't compare Alonso to Vieira though, because Vieira has the massive body type and he's six foot four. So it's not a comparison I'm really willing to do. 
He has some decent stats. I don't know. The problem is as well, left mid is not easy to link him in. Because left mid, there's a lot of good left wingers on the game. Left wingers is one of the like highest quantity of good cards. Um, so, I don't know, to be honest. Um, for me, it's an okay card. If Chelsea win, which I think they are the favourites to win, and everything's a plus two, the card starts looking a lot better. But you can't really play him in much attacking role with that freestyle freestyle. It's going to be very hard to fit a left mid in at centre-back, which is probably going to be his best role. He would be a good left-back as well. Um, I don't know. If this was a left-back, he was a reasonable price. I'd probably say it looks a lot better, to be honest. But what what is the price? 200, 250k again. I mean, it's just joint team of the season. Are these cards that exciting? Is this card much better than Suchek? I don't know. Obviously, Spain and Chelsea are easy to link in, but Suchek is a central card. I do think at CDM, this Alonso will do a good job. It'll be really solid. But I just don't know how easily you're going to link him in. If you can't link a player in and he's untradeable, you're really starting to limit yourself. I wish he had a bit more physical. He does have the stamina, which is pretty nice to be fair, because you can't really you, you can't get um stamina on a chemistry style. Uh, I didn't look at the Bale SBC the other day, by the way, so we'll quickly talk about that. And Balea. Balea five star, four star. Is um a towel. A towel's an Algerian, right? So strong link to a towel. That card's actually pretty damn good. Decent that. Yeah, decent. An eighty six coming in near two hundred k. Is a very good card though. He has pretty much most stuff you want. Strong link to a towel saves the card, doesn't it? I've looked at the store. I've looked at the store. We've talked about it already. This bail, what's the point with a three-star weak foot? Give that bail a four-star weak foot, reasonable. He's still going to be a bit clunky. I mean, to be honest, I'd probably be putting a finisher on him. 99 dribbling, finishing, pretty good agility balance. I mean, the balance won't be great, then you can't really fix that. But I just don't get the point in some of these SBCs. It feels like EA just trying to cash in on nostalgia and people. What did these cars I mean... When are we going to get some new Icon SBCs as well? I don't know. Team of the season underwhelming for me at the moment. Um, what's this? New to FIFA 21, a stadium item packs and bundles allowing players to further customise the look of their foot clubs. At various points in time, stadium item packs or bundles may become available in the foot store. Then an additional layer of customisation fund do not replace other ways of obtaining stadium items. They can be obtained via foot coins or thief points for a limited time. Stadium item packs generally only contain one stadium item that is visible for obtain, while bundles consist of multiple. I mean, like I said, I, if they went this way rather than um, normal packs, I'd be quite happy with it, but probably not going to do that. So we'll see how it plays out long term. Appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep it spicy.